turns into a power bank, pencils into an e-reader, and a pencil case into a loudspeaker? It's easy! Technical advancements are in fashion nowadays, and school supplies decide to get dressed in the style of gadgets. Miss Smith rushes to the class as fast as she can. Notebooks even fall out of her hands. She starts giving us a task quickly, but understands that it is suspiciously quiet in the classroom. Her students are also running late. She shouldn't have hurried so much. That's a pity. At last, the girls bother to show up at the class. They got carried away with phone games. The girls are so enthralled by word crossy that they hardly notice anything around. They are connecting letters to get a complete word and filling it into a crossword blank. They compare the results. Who's winning? It's suspiciously quiet in the class. What are the girls doing? Using social media again? Aha! It's a new word link game. You need to connect letters in a level and finish a word. It's so entertaining and free to play. The game is available on iOS, Android, and Amazon App Store. I'll install Word Crossy on my phone. Wow! Beautiful visual experience. The game helps train my brain, so I'm having so much fun. The rules are simple. If you want to win, you have to find all the words hidden in the crossword. Challenge yourself and train your brain. Distract from your school routine. There are no time limits, except that I have to teach my students in the meanwhile. Join and invite your friends to play Word Crossy. The degree of difficulty increases as the player progresses through the levels. Want to prove your skills? Find the link in the description. My phone is completely empty. It's great that my friend has a power bank. It means that my gadget will last through this long school day. But we didn't take into account the fact that the teacher can interfere. Miss Smith is already here. She takes away the power bank. Probably she wants to charge her teacher strictness, but we also get ready for the classes. My friend takes out a power bank with a surprise. Trace a glue stick on thick cardboard. Draw two rectangles inside the circle. Shade the circle with a silver pen. And draw white lines inside the rectangles. It's an imitation of USB connectors. Cut out the circle and make cuts in the connectors using a knife. Hot glue the circle to the moving detail of the glue stick. Mark the size of the glue stick on a piece of colored foam rubber sheet. Take a label off the glue stick and wrap it with double-sided tape. Attach the foam rubber sheet and make a cut near the cap to make the stick open. Cover the cap with silver paint on top. Decorate the stick with gold self-adhesive tape. Sign our power bank. Cut a round button out of self-adhesive foam rubber sheet and draw a switch sign on it. Attach it to the cap. We plug a phone into the fake power bank and wait for Miss Smith to come. The bait works! The teacher is right near our desk. She starts complaining and I just open up the power bank and start gluing pages together. Sorry, Miss Smith, you are wrong this time. The teacher goes away empty-handed. The only drawback is that the glue stick can't actually charge your phone. Miss Smith is weird in her own way. For example, she sharpens her pencil with a phone charger. Maybe we should raise a red flag and call it teacher meeting. Paint a big pencil sharpener of an appropriate shape in white. Heat an all and make two holes in it and attach two details of a broken plug to it. Cover the edges with paint. Fasten a broken phone charger cable to the back side. Miss Smith is a trendsetter in gadget fashion. My friend wasn't at a loss and arranged last minute pencil sharpening earphones. This is not a very handy invention. It would be better if you used the earphones for what they were intended for initially. Let it be. Let a pencil sharpener be a pencil sharpener. Miss Smith gives a very interesting lecture, and we take notes energetically. A kettle instruction would seem to be an exciting thriller in comparison to these notes. 
Let's make the class funnier. I take a phone and start talking. Take a notebook with a hard cover and cut out a piece that is of the same size as your phone. Make the edges round. Mix silver and black acrylic paint. And paint the cover and sides of the notebook. Print a phone screen on self-adhesive paper. And attach it to the notebook. Paint a round button on the bottom. Paint voice buttons at the side. The teacher sees that I talk on my phone. This is awful, but I hurry to calm Miss Smith down. It's just a notebook. I take my notes in it. Miss Smith calms down at once. Taking notes in the class is the right choice. A musical break in a class. I take out a loudspeaker, but Miss Smith has other plans. She has prepared a musical case. We will need felt, tool, and a foam rubber sheet. Draw a geometric pattern with cells like the one a loudspeaker has on a foam rubber sheet. Cut the cells out and put it onto tool. Take two pieces of felt and cut out two ovals with allowances for bending. Attach the foam rubber sheet buttons to it. Make signs with a pen. Score the lines of the buttons using a knife. Make cuts along the bending line. Attach the foam rubber sheet to tool and felt with double-sided tape. Hot glue oval details to the inside borders. Fold it and hot glue the case. Hot glue a zipper to the top. The teacher changes the loudspeaker for a regular pencil case with a slight dance move. Who is she trying to deceive? There is no music inside this loudspeaker. There are only pens and pencils. On the other hand, it hits the spot. Miss Smith's private dance party is canceled. I left my e-reader at home. And my friend doesn't want to share with me at all. This is so unfair. It's great that Miss Smith is on my side. She sees that I've got a problem and gives me her own e-reader. Paint a metallic box with colored pencils using sparkling acrylic paint. Print a page of an e-reader and attach it to the box with double-sided tape. Draw an inscription on the reader and a central button using a pencil. Paint the button with silver paint and the letters with a black pen. Hot glue two matte decorative circles to the sides of the button. Draw details on the central button. Why is Miss Smith so generous today? The e-reader looks like a real one, but it doesn't turn the pages over. It starts making noises from inside instead. Maybe those are the characters of the book who want to break free. Or it's just a box of colored pencils. I totally fell for Miss Smith's prank. At last, my friend decides to share her e-reader with me to make me a bit happier. Let's see what Miss Smith will say if I take out a joystick. Right in class. Take a broken joystick apart. Take the electronic device and a processor out. Make a hole in the plastic cover. Attach plastic buttons with hot glue. Close the cap and attach an aerial wire. Fill the joystick with paper clips and cover it with the second half. I pretend that I am deep into my game on my phone. My fingers just cling into the joystick. At last, Miss Smith figures out that I've got a joystick in the class. She threatens to kick me out of the classroom. What did I do, Miss Smith? My joystick is just a paperclip container. It is handy for studying. 
The teacher is amazed when she sees this unusual way of storing school supplies. School policy doesn't forbid us from bringing paper clips to school. Art class! We take paints out. And what does my friend have? A tablet? Excellent! I just wanted to surf Instagram and use all the artistic filters. But the tablet is broken. The sensor doesn't work. Sure! Because this tablet is made out of a sketch pad. Cover a sketch pad with black matte paint. Do not forget about the sides. Print a screenshot of a tablet on self-adhesive paper of an appropriate size. Attach it to the sketch pad. Draw a camera and a microphone with a silver pen. You can use any paint you want in this tablet, and it doesn't need to be charged. Did you like our school supplies ideas? Then write in your comments which gadget you will bring to school. A notebook that looks like a phone? Or a sketch pad that looks like a tablet? Or a sharpener that looks like a phone charger? And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new ideas on the Troom Troom channel.